Hello everybody. I thought I'd share today um, my personal size traveler's notebook that I use as an everyday carry in my and my wallet. Uh, this is a notebook that I made myself, personal size. I don't know if I said that or not. It is just leather that I picked up at Tandy Leather. I got a huge uh, half what I forgot what it was called now. <laughs> Anyways, like half a cow, and I made a bag out of part of it, and I made this traveler's notebook out of um, some more of it. I still have some more left over that I may make some more notebooks out of. I don't know for sure. Um, I just I made this um, little charm, put it together, and um, just used the lobster clasp and stuck it to the elastic that I have here. It has a little tree on it that says peace along with a bird that has a little um, heart cut out in it and this I it was blank and I stamped it it says God can I don't know if you can see that or not I when I string my notebooks I string them with the knot on the I do four strands so I just uh, do it twice and I just put the knot on the outside because it really bugs me being when I get to the middle of a notebook or calendar and that knot is there in the way so and this, it, I've um, uh, melted the ends of it with a lighter so it doesn't fray or anything and it just sticks out a little bit and it doesn't bother me at all. This is just a little piece of scrap leather that I had. It's, it's black and I um, stamped it with, um, you know, the leather stamps that you emboss with or deboss. I've heard it said both ways. Anyways, I just put my initials on there and just got the um, little eyelets. And I like having this on here because it's not gonna, it doesn't scratch up the leather like a metal charm would do because I've done that before and it scratched the leather and I, it really bugged me. So I don't mind the leather getting marks on it from everyday use, but just in that, <laughs> having marks in that one spot really would bother me after a while. So, and this leather is really, um, Oh, it's so pliable and yet it wraps around the notebooks and stays structured so well. I love this leather and I, I think they refer to it as a Latigo leather. It's really nice. It's a little bit thicker than um, the leather of my previous traveler's notebook but I it's just as pliable and I love it a lot. This here is a wallet insert that I made. This is just um, it's thin leather that I got from Hobby Lobby in like a scrap pack I believe yes <laughs> I had to think about that for a minute yes I got it in a pack of scraps from Hobby Lobby and um, you know used a 40% discount so it was fairly cheap and I I sewed it with my sewing machine my sewing machine didn't exactly like it it was frustrating and I will never do it again if I do make another one of these it will be by also by hand because it just didn't like it at all. <laughs> and so I have a pocket here that I keep my checkbook in. And that was the main reason I went from a fill note size traveler's notebook to a personal size because I wanted to carry my checkbook and wallet in my notebook so I wouldn't be carrying two things around. And it has worked out really well. In the in the middle on the elastic here I just keep my check registry book. Um, receipts. This has another long pocket for cash. Um, this is just two pockets here for credit cards, store cards, um, business cards, things of that nature. Um, this is the uh, pocket folder that I made out of a file folder, um, cut down and folded. I just stamped this and um, I was playing around with an old calligraphy pen that I have from when I was in high school and some inks that I got on clearance and just wrote brave on here and stamps. I thought it went really well. I liked it. So I just, I was playing around and just decided to washi tape it in there. Um, in this pocket, I keep things like um, address labels, stamps, um, just things that I need to remember, insurance cards, schedules, things like that. Here are three of my beautiful children. And my fourth daughter is right here. She's um, she's 19. She's an adult now. I can't hardly believe it. It's my son again. Uh, this notebook here 
This is a fairly thin one that I made. I just um, used some graph paper that I picked up at Walmart, I believe, and cardstock. This notebook has information in it that I need to keep with me, that I need to refer back to a lot, and sometimes I'll just write um, ideas or or notes or something that I'm um, looking up information on. I have some trackers in here, some of which I have not been keeping up with. Like this one, for instance. This one makes me sad. It's my um, devotion quiet time tracker. I started out in January. It was pretty sad. It was getting better, and now I'm so, so more missed than hit. It's it's really depressing. <laughs> But that's my own fault. I need to work on that. So, And I also have birthdays and anniversaries in here. This is the other side of the photo album sheet. And these are these album sheets were Tim Holtz um, album sheets that were made for three ring binders that I found at Michael's. And I just I sewed two of them together. They fit perfectly. I didn't have to cut um, anything off or trim them down or anything. They just they fit perfectly. I have uh, other more important information. I have to have medical cards. I just use these things. Uh, what are these called? Post-its to cover up some important information that you don't need to know. This is just a uh, Project Life card with like my address and phone number on it in case this ever gets lost. They can get a hold of me, find me. Which I guess since my driver's license is in here. It's probably not necessary, but it was in a different notebook, and so I just stuck it in here. Um, other sides of those. This is the other side of the file folder, pocket um, folder that I made. It's just I keep a small calendar in here for when I do my my weekly spreads for my planning and a little stencil for letters and numbers. This is just scrap pieces of a moleskin that I trimmed off that I keep in here just for, to write down phone numbers, email address, or some anything that I might need to write on just a scrap piece of paper and give to someone. Um, these are little stickers that I, I had printed from Moo.com. Th this is just a few of them. You know, you get a booklet of like 90 stickers and it's pretty reasonably priced and it's just a few of my photographs that I put on there and I use those in my um, journal slash bullet journal planner, whatever you want to call it. It's just an everything notebook, I guess. Which is what this is. Um, my This is on my third elastic. <coughs> and I just, I kind of just decorate this notebook as I go. I did a video last week on one that I had that was finished. And what this is is just the moleskin kaye that I um, cut down. And it has the um, grid graph I think it's called grid um, paper in it, which I like a lot. I don't use fountain pens, so this paper works really well for me. And I just kind of got quotes, put stickers, write thoughts, um, meal planning. I thought I was going to, you know, do a challenge this month <laughs> on Instagram. And so far, today's the 11th, or the 13th, and I've only done one of them. And it's just crazy. I don't even know why, I don't even know why I bother trying. I don't take the time to do stuff like that. I have finances. I do, um, my weeks like this, I, I do Sunday start through Saturday. This I just do, I take from my calendar move over here so that when I'm doing my dailies it's right here and I can just look okay I need to do such and such and also I add in things that aren't on my calendar like put the trash bins out because I always forget to put the trash bins out um, what's going on with the kids things that are going on that week that I need to do but aren't scheduled necessarily I kind of figure out what day I can put those on for that week and then work it into my daily bullet journal type, whatever you want to call it. This is the week I'm, we're currently on. I just, a note, it's something I need to do. <laughs> um, I got these little clips at um, Hobby Lobby. I like these a lot. They help me keep my place in my books. It keeps me on the correct month in my um, 
calendar, stuff like that. Their um, paper studios at Hobby Lobby. Um, I use them for several things. I like that they're snug. I can put so, uh, a couple pieces of paper in there and it, it's pretty snug. Um, I like keeping my marks on the side because when I open my book, I'm looking at the side of the book. I don't want to have to tip it up and find it. Oh, look, but there's one right there. <laughs> okay, apparently in some instances I put it at the top. So anyways, uh, this is just uh, colors. My favorite summer colors. I just stuck those in there. I, I do that. I put things in here that have no real significance, but I like it. And sometimes if I have ideas or I'm working through things, taking notes, I put them in the back of the book because they don't necessarily need to be on a certain day. And they don't have to be, they don't need to be mixed in with my, um, my weekly planning. So that's that. Next is my calendar. This is a two year monthly planner calendar, which I absolutely like having, I have to have a calendar in this format so I can see the weeks, month at a glance, and know what day a certain date falls on. It's just the way my brain works. I tried you doing the um, bullet journal style where you just list out the days, the dates of the month and then write in just to the side like a list. My brain doesn't function that way. It doesn't work well. Uh, I'm the same way with clocks. I have to have an analog clock, digital clocks. My brain doesn't, it doesn't digest the time the way it does on an analog clock. It, I can't explain it. It's just, that's the way my brain is. Um, this has the plastic cover on it, so it, so it should, I'm hoping, um, last the two years and hold up <laughs> because I don't want to have to change. And if I get bored with the cover, I'll paint it or put stickers on it or what have you. I like that it has the plastic cover and I can stick things in there, information. Um, this is my month. It has notes on the side. I can plan, you know, what needs to be done that month that isn't necessarily date specific and um, just have it right there and know what I need to do. I like that I can plan ahead a whole year and have dates set aside to know what's coming up, if I need to plan an appointment. I have, um, you know, I have four kids. I have um, stuff going on that I need to know ahead of time. I can't just do it month by month. I have to have a whole year. Um, I just stuck, this is a little drawing my daughter put in here, or gave me and I stuck it in there just because it was cute. Um, this is just a, a prayer card or a verse card that I picked up somewhere. I did take the plastic cover off and um, stuck some stickers on here. I'll probably I'll probably stick more on there. Who knows? And that's it. That is my traveler's notebook. And and a lot of my notebooks I've had those uh, clear adhesive like ID um, pockets stuck in there, but I haven't really missed having those in here, so I haven't put any more and it doesn't it doesn't bother me I kinda like it just being plain and flexible and just really loving this leather so far so there it is I hope you enjoyed and that's one thing about having your initials on the thing it's gotta be right side up <laughs> that's the only thing that bothers me I should have put a picture or something on there anyways that wouldn't matter Anyways, that's my traveler's notebook. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.